Welcome to our elementary worship. We are so happy that you are here worshiping with us today. And God would be so happy. Some of you are here at church worshiping with us in person and some of you are worshiping at home online. Wherever you are, God is with you and we are worshiping Him together. Right now, right here. So, are you guys ready to worship? Okay, before we begin, let's check three things. First, are you ready to give all of your heart to God? Second, do you have the Bible with you? Lastly, do you know who you are? You are the children of God and we are here to worship Him. Remember, God made us to worship and praise Him all the time. Okay, everyone, please stand up and let's praise.
어, 친구들 기도하겠습니다. 어, 두손 모으고 어, 눈 감고 머리 숙이고 기도하겠습니다. 어, 하나님 아버지 감사합니다. 저희들 일주일 동안 지켜주셔서 어, 건강하게 하나님께 예배드리러 나올 수 있도록 해주심에 감사를 드립니다. 음, 혹시 아픈 친구들 또는 가족이 아픈 친구들이 있으면 어, 하나님께서 나올 수 있도록 해주세요. 어, 저희를 사랑해 주시고 매일매일 지켜주심에 감사를 드립니다. 어, 저희들 일주일 지내면서 혹시 하나님이 미워하시는 일들을 한 것이 있다면 용서해 주세요. 어, 저희들 하나님을 더 사랑하고 예수님을 닮아갈 수 있도록 해주세요. 어, 이제 여름방학입니다. 어, 가족과 즐거운 시간을 보낼 수 있도록 해주시고 또 그러면서도 어, 주변에 어려운 사람들이 있으면 그분들을 위해 기도하고 도와줄 수 있는 저희들이 되게 해주세요. 또 하나님 말씀을 읽고 기도하며 하나님과 더 가까워지는 시간이 될수 있도록 해주세요. 또 예배를 통해 하나님과 더 가까워지고 말씀을 통해 하나님에 대해 더 많이 알아갈 수 있는 시간이 될수 있도록 해주세요. 교회 목사님, 전도사님, 간사님, 어, 선생님들도 성령 충만하게 하셔서 맡은 일들을 예수님 안에서 잘할수 있도록 해주세요. 우리를 사랑하시고 우리의 작은 기도에도 응답해 주시는 예수님의 이름으로 기도합니다. 아멘 Today we'll be continuing from the book of Genesis in the Old Testament. It's the first book of the Bible, so please turn your Bibles to the book of Genesis, chapter 39, verse 1 through 5. We'll be continuing with the Old Testament hero, Joseph in Genesis, of 39, verse 1 through 5. It reads, Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt, Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard, bought him from the Ismailites, who had taken him there. The Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered, and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. When his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did, Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put him in charge of his household, and he entrusted to his care everything he owned. From the time he put him in charge of his household and of all that he owned, the Lord blessed the household of the Egyptian because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had, both in the house and in the field. So we are continuing with our story of Joseph from last Sunday. Let us go and see our story. 15 pieces of silver. 15, 15, 15. 15. I see you. I've got 15 now. 20, 20, 20, 20. Can I get 20 pieces? Come on. He's a strong one. He's not worth five pieces. What about that other one? Yes, I agree. Potiphar, <laughs> you've got a good eye. I know that look. I do, I do. You want to buy my favorite slave. This one is uh, straight from the fields of Canaan. I'll take him for 17. Lord Potiphar will take the Hebrew for 17. Done. <laughs> so, to Lord Potiphar. Come with me. Stack the bricks right there by the wall. And uh, move the statue. This young man is incredible. His God blesses everything that he does. I'm going to put him in charge of my household. Why are you here? You, you shouldn't be here. Shh. My husband is always so busy. Work, work, work. I need a man who will pay attention to me and show me some love. Come spend some time with me, Joseph. You are my master's wife. I could never do such a thing. It would be a sin against God. Joseph. No. 
Please. I should go. Please. Ah! Help! Help! He's attacking me! Stop right there. to bless me, God. But I'm a slave. And now I'm a slave in prison. But the Lord was with Joseph, and even in prison he blessed him. Joseph became the favorite prisoner of the chief jailer. The couldn't get to it. Then there'd be plenty. Joseph, that's brilliant. And the jailer put him in charge of all the other prisoners. <sighs> I just can't rest until I know what it means. What's wrong? Why are you so sad? We both had dreams last night, but there is no one to tell us what our dreams mean. God will help me. Tell me your dreams. I saw a grapevine in front of me. The vine had three branches and it produced clusters of ripe grapes. I was holding Pharaoh's wine cup in my hand. So I took a cluster of grapes and squeezed the juice into the cup. Then I placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Then I woke up. This is what the dream means. The three branches represent three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift you up and restore you to your position as his chief cupbearer. And listen, please. When this happens, will you put in a good word for me with Pharaoh? I shouldn't be here. I didn't do anything wrong. Please, help me get out of here. Of course. Yeah, now it's my turn. In my dream, there were three baskets stacked on my head. The top basket was filled with all kinds of pastries for Pharaoh. But the birds came and ate them from the basket on my head. Woke with a start. What does my dream mean? This is what the dream means. The three baskets also represent three days. Pharaoh will lift you up and hang your body on a tree, and birds will come and peck away at your flesh. Gods. Bring me the young Hebrew prisoner right away. Have you forgotten me, God? Have you forgotten me? We learned that Joseph was a dreamer and that he dreamt about his future. It wasn't just any dream that you and I could dream of at night, but it was a dream that came from the Lord. One thing about Joseph is that God was always with him. No matter what came his way, especially with his brothers wanting to kill him and selling him off as a slave to Egypt, God was always with him. We read in today's scripture that the Lord was with Joseph so that even being sold as a slave, he prospered in his Egyptian master's house. Even his master was able to see that the Lord was with him and that the Lord gave him success in everything he did. Joseph found favor in his eyes and became his attendant. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of everything that he owned because the Lord blessed even the Egyptians' household, because of Joseph. The blessing of the Lord was on everything Potiphar had 
both in the house and even in the fields. Can you imagine everything that you touch becoming gold because God is with you? Wouldn't that be great? If you can make gold of everything you touch, it's the Midas touch and become rich through all the gold that you make. Of course, that's not what happened to Joseph, but very similar in that God was with Joseph so that everything he did prospered. And even the master, Potiphar, was able to see that. So he said, Joseph, here, you take care of everything I have because everything you do and you touch is blessed by God. How is your life? Is the Lord with you? Can others see that God is with you? That when you study or when you're working, other people can see that God is blessing you? Well, Joseph was faithful with his work and he was faithful to God. We can definitely see that when he was tempted by Potiphar's wife, Joseph was handsome and he was well built. The Potiphar's wife had taken notice of him and wanted to make him sin against God. But Joseph runs away and he would never sin against God because he was faithful to God and even to his master. And because Joseph was so faithful, he was even falsely accused of doing wrong once again when he didn't do anything wrong. And he was put in prison by his master. Joseph did nothing wrong again, and all he did was to be faithful to his master. But what happened to him? They put him in prison. Just because God is with you, it doesn't mean everything will go well all the time. Things will happen that is not fair, and you will be accused falsely and maybe even be put into prison like Joseph. But do you know what the Bible says? It says in Genesis 39, 20, 23, it reads, Joseph's master took him and put him in prison the place where the king's prisoners were confined. But while Joseph was there in the prison, the Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. So the warden put Joseph in charge of all those held in the prison, and he was made responsible for all that was done there. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. What happened? The Lord was with Joseph even in prison and God gave him success even there in prison. Then you would ask, and I ask, why in the world did God put Joseph in the prison in the first place? Could God have saved him from going into prison? Of course he could, but he put him in there for God's good purpose. He had reasons, and God always does things in God's good purpose. Do you remember our last Sunday memory verse? Romans 8, 28. And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Even when you are put in the prison or falsely accused, can you trust God? Can you be faithful to God? Joseph was. And that's why he gave success to Joseph in all that he did, even in prison. Last Sunday, I had shared Proverbs 3, 5, 6. But I like to add verse 3 and 4 along with the verse 5 and 6. It reads, Let love and faithfulness never leave you, binding them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart, then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and men. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your path straight. In all your ways, whether in good or bad, trust in the Lord with all your heart and let love and faithfulness never leave you. And then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and men. That's what the scripture tells us. This was Joseph. When he was faithful to God, 
he was, God was with him and gave him favor of God and man. The warden in the prison put Joseph in charge of everything in the prison and God gave him success in all that Joseph did once again, just like in Potiphar's house. Do you trust in the Lord with all your ways? Do you trust in the Lord with all your heart? Can you rejoice even when things are hard? Can you pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances? Remember 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. How was your week? To tell you the truth, my week was kind of hard. And even though I had told you to do this exactly last Sunday, I had a big hard time uh, when I was having a hard week this week. And it was so hard for me to trust in the Lord and to rejoice when things were not going well and to give thanks to God in all circumstances. Did you have any hard time with your brothers or sisters? Or maybe with your mom or dad, with your family? or maybe even with friends at school. Um, can you trust in the Lord even when things are bad? I definitely had to trust in the Lord and think about how Jesus died for me. I thought about how it was because of my own sins that Jesus had to go to the cross for me. And I thought about how I am so weak that even little things which is really nothing compared to what Joseph or what Jesus had to go through that will break me down and give me despair or make me sad or mad. Even though I know this despair is just very temporary, I had a hard time trying to be happy or to smile. Though I know that what Jesus had done for me I look at my circumstances and I ask the Lord, why or what can I do, Lord? I think about Joseph, my hero for this month, who was in prison for a very, very long time, more than I could imagine. Even when Joseph had interpreted the dreams for Pharaoh's baker and the cupbearer, and when the king's baker was killed and the cupbearer was back at the king's service, just as Joseph had interpreted their dreams, it came true. But he had begged them, Joseph had begged them to remember him and to mention him to Pharaoh uh, of his injustice for being put in the dungeon for so long, the cupbearer forgot. Can you imagine the disappointment? He was there for no wrong thing that he had done and he had to be in there for such a long time. We must remember that it's God's time. Not our time, but God's time. We once again leave this Sunday with the story of Joseph, once again in a bad way because Joseph is still in prison, unjustly, no one recognizing him or remembering him. Not even his family, not his friends, or his master. But who is with him? Who knows him and remembers him? That's right. Jesus, our Lord. God is with him. So boys and girls, remember, even if you're alone and no one is remembering you, and you feel like you are stuck in a dungeon for the longest time, which I know is not that bad as Joseph in your lives. But no matter what you're going through today, remember the Lord is with you. Remember that he loves you no matter what. So rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you and me in Christ Jesus. So let us pray together. Close your eyes, hands together, and bow your head, and let us pray to our God. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much. As we're continuing with our story of Joseph, we are remembering how you were with them all the time, even through the difficulties, even through all the injustice that he had to face. But Lord, 
help us to remember that you are also with us and with each one of our students that are worshiping at this time. Lord, help us in, no, in whatever circumstances we are facing, that we trust in you and that we know that you are with us and that in your time that you will deliver us. So Lord, we thank you and we praise you and we rejoice and continually pray to you for you are our God. We love you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. This is time for offering. Please give your offering with your best heart. And remember, it is the part of worship. Here is our memory verse for this week. It is Psalms chapter 1, verse 2. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. Psalms chapter 1, verse 2. Remember, do your memory first and send it to your teachers. Don't forget, the Our Store is coming soon. Don't forget, we don't have the June Bible study today, so you can enjoy the summer. We'll be meeting back in August, but please check in your attendance with your teachers, whether you attended the online worship or here at church. Instead of your daily duty, we are going to start Bible writing through the summer from June to August with Book of Psalms. In your craft package, you gave you the weekly prayer topic with related passages for you to write. Remember, Phoebus is coming! It is from July 13th through the 17th. On the last day, there will be a carnival for you. If you have not registered, please have your parents contact me. Come and worship with us in person. We will have fun worshiping God. Let us end our worship with the Lord's Prayer. Please close your eyes and hands together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, I hope you enjoy our worship today. And have a nice week. And see you next week. Bye.
strangers.